This is the original um, disc poster from 1974, a K9 series, the Diamond Dogs poster, which as you can see includes the dog's genitals. It's in perfect condition and it's framed, of course, behind ruby glass. And down here we have the original Diamond Dogs album and the centrefold. signed by David Bowie in the year of its release, 1974. So that's on my wall at home, if you can see that properly. Rather beautiful. And I had it framed professionally, as you can see, hopefully. And it's all set back, so you can sort of look through it rather than at it. And a bit of a Diamond Dogs family, of course. So there you go. Well, beautiful, isn't it? And another one from my collection. This is the original Aladdin Sane album released in 1973, of course, with that amazingly striking image on the cover um, by Duffy. And uh, David Bowie looks just amazing, does he not? So I had this professionally framed behind UV glass, and again, it's set back so that you can actually look well, almost through it really. Anyway, it's set back. I don't know whether you can see that properly. And of course, this one has David's signature on it, uh, the full David Bowie signature, which is quite unusual. And he only signed David Bowie up to around about the end of 1973, maybe early 74. So it's a rare piece and uh, looks rather beautiful on the wall. I hope you will like that. And hopefully it'll never fade because of the UV glass, so um, I'm taking great care of it. And it's an absolute gem in my collection. So thank you for watching, and keep watching because there'll be another one any second now. Well, here I am again, just a second on. And this again is Diamond Dogs, and I do have a passion for the Diamond Dogs album. And that whole era, 1974, is just amazing even though we didn't get to see him live in the UK because the Diamond Dogs and Soul Tour didn't come here. They only went to the USA and to Canada. Anyway, this is an original promotional poster, as you can see there, printed. Ooh, let me just hold that in the USA. Main Man Copyright Art by Pilat. And it's a beauty, and I've had this framed as well professionally, again, behind UV glass to stop fading and as you can see it is signed in the year of release of Diamond Dogs 1974 by David Bowie three kisses there and from about this period on he only ever signed Bowie for quite some time actually uh, he dropped the David he probably thought it was a bit quicker so um, yeah to sign I suppose it would be so there it is on my wall at home Another one coming. Hi all and welcome to another piece from my collection, from my David Bowie memorabilia collection. This is three pieces from the RCA press pack from 1980 and um, I decided to have three pieces from the press pack framed. I do have all of the press pack but uh, only these three pieces I framed behind UV glass. Uh, within the press pack there's also a bio, actually there's a couple of bios I think, and there's also articles about David Bowie of course. Um, and I still have those, but only these three pieces are signed. And a press pack was issued to members of the press upon release of an album and to people like RCA reps and important people I guess who needed to know about it. And um, this one is signed with Best Wishes Bow 80. And the centre piece there is the RCA press pack folder. So the rest of the press pack was encased inside that folder, the Edward Bell image on the front there. So there you go, something that's very rare. I haven't seen another one signed, but I'm sure they exist somewhere. So hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much indeed for watching and more to come. Hi everyone, how are you doing? Uh, another piece from my collection is this that I've had professionally framed behind UV glass and you can see hopefully it's got a couple of borders there so it's set back a little bit so it looks the part actually 
I mean, the colours you may not agree to, of course, you may prefer different colours, but this was my colour choice. And this is the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars, of course, the original album, in pretty good condition. Most Ziggy albums were played to death, so you'd expect to see somewhere on the album cover. And this one is signed in 1972 with a full David Bowie signature with a nice kiss underneath as well. As you know, or most of you will know from back early 74, he changed it to Bowie with the year. But prior to that, he generally, well, virtually always signed it David Bowie. So I hope you like it. It uh, took me a while to find one of these. Can't be that many around, I suppose. Not often you see one. So the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust, signed by David Bowie in 1972. So another piece from my collection is this cover of a musical score book, Space Oddity and Other Songs by David Bowie. And I've had this framed again on a triple border and behind UV glass. And it does look the part, I must admit. And it's the, just the cover of the book. And it's signed with a huge, clear, beautiful signature. My thanks, David Bowie. Now that was signed in 1973. I don't know exactly when in 73, but probably the autumn, November sort of time. And it's rather beautiful, that one. It's something I really, really love. And I hope you like it. And I think the signature helps it because it's so large and clear. So it's fully certificated, of course, and a proud part of my collection, I must admit. So um, thank you very much and a bit more to come soon. Well, of course, you'd all recognise this, Aladdin Sane, the 1973 Japanese issue of the album with the pink glam rock Obi strip. There was another release with a, a less colourful strip as well. And this one, again, is signed, is signed by David Bowie with a full, lovely, clear David Bowie signature, large one. And frame behind UV glass, triple bordered. And looks rather lovely, doesn't it? That's one of the favourite pieces I've got from my collection. Um, I really love it and um, it took me a while to find one of these, especially with a signature that good. So there you go, hope you really like that one. Let me know what you think. I often seem to return to collecting um, Scary Monsters and Super Creeps as well as Diamond Dogs of course. And this is the original promotional poster that was issued to record shops etc. for Bowie's album Scary Monsters and Super Creeps. And it's a rather colourful one, it's beautiful, framed again behind UV glass with a triple border and signed, best wishes, Bowie 80. And it's a really nice signature, that one, quite big. And it's a lovely poster, I mean, it's a piece of art, isn't it? The Edward Bell actual cover and the Duffy images of the Puro Clown. So there you go, Scary Monsters and Super Creeps, the promo album poster. Um, love the framing, what do you think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Now, in my view, this is one of David Bowie's grossly underrated albums. And uh, actually, the more you play it, the more I love it. Anyway, what we've got here is um, a bit of a set of things. There are four items in there, as you can see, all framed. And each is signed by Bowie. First of all, you've got the promo lenticular there for the Hours album. And then over here is the CD, signed in 99. And actually the lenticular is also signed, but it's signed in silver. So I hope you can see that. And down here is the book by David Buckley, which is The Complete Guide to the Music of David Bowie. Now that's quite a rare book. And it's even more rare because it's signed in 1999. And up here we have the press pack folder for the album hours, which is a beauty. I love the design of the hours album. I love the colours and the images as well and that one signed in 2000 nice big signature there so that's something i got for a birthday quite a few years ago now it's rather lovely isn't it so rather nice presentation that one okay so this is the japanese issue of space odyssey the reissue of the album um, and again framed behind uv glass and triple bordered and this is a beauty, as I said, it's the Japanese issue. And if I pan back, you can see with thanks, 
David Bowie, huge signature, really clear. Again, fully certified, of course. And it's a lovely thing. RCA Records, of course. And in there is the cover. I have got the record itself, but I decided not to frame it because the circle pattern of the record actually pushes through the cover at some point, and I don't want that. So all I've done is slipped a piece of cardboard inside the cover and I've got the record separately. So there you go, big thanks David Bowie. So guys, in the very early Ziggy gigs, uh, selected gigs, not many, these flyers were thrown into the audience. This is in early 1972 from about January to about June, but only at a few gigs, not all gigs. And these were thrown into the audience by Angie Bowie and David Bowie's entourage. And fans used to pick them up, uh, but most were trampled into the ground because Bowie wasn't particularly well known and people didn't care about them particularly at that point. Now, of course, they're very valuable. So this one is actually signed in the bottom left hand corner by Bowie and indeed by Mick Ronson. So obviously it's a very rare piece of kit. There you go. Nice few kisses there from Mick Ronson and with love Bowie. So quite a sought after collector's item that one. And again, framed behind UV glass to stop fading. So hope you like it. And I'll be back in a second with another one. Notably, I return to probably what I think is the greatest design for a cover that Bowie ever did, maybe other than Lad Insane. But I absolutely love the uh, look and the whole design of Scary Monsters and Super Creeps. So this is the original album framed again behind UV glass uh, with a border. And this is signed in 1980 by Bowie, Bowie 80, which of course at that time he did just write Bowie and the year. And I was looking for Scary Monsters and Super Creeps actually signed in the year of its release, 1980, which obviously this one is. So this is a beauty, I really love it. I love the colors it's framed behind as well. And uh, yeah, one of my favourites. So I hope you like it. I'll just pan back so you can see it again. So Scary Monsters and Super Creeps. Wonderful. Hi all. Now this piece I really love. This is the record store stand for Ashes to Ashes, the promo stand that they used in record shops at the time. Also promotes the album Scary Monsters, of course. And it's a cutout, as you can see. And of course, if you flip it over, it stands up as well. So from time to time, I do stand it up. Which is rather nice, isn't it? And it is in great condition. All the colours are true. Yeah, it's just something from my collection that I really love. Okay, so something else from my collection, and once again we're into Diamond Dead Dogs territory. Um, this is the tour programme for the 1974 Diamond Dogs leg of the tour. Not the Soul Tour, because the programme's changed slightly for the Soul Tour, which uh, I'll tell you about in a minute. So this is the original program and it's in really, really good condition. Some great images there. That's the after party from the Ziggy gig, of course. Mick Jagger there, of course. Jeff Beck. And um, you can still pick one of these up, but there are a couple of different versions. So you need to be a little bit careful. But there's some great images in here and it's certainly worth getting. And there, of course, is Hunger City. Um, discography of David's, up to this point of course. That's up to and including Diamond Dogs. And various pieces of merchandise you could buy. Quite like this uh, poster here, it's rather nice isn't it? So as you go through, it gives you some information about the 1980 floor show, an image there. It's a shame it wasn't in colour though, that image. 
I think it's captured better in colour. A little feature there on Lulu. Of course, he sang at Man Who Sold the World. And if we go through, there's all the musicians on the tour, the main men personnel. And copyright 1974 by Main Man. What's different about this programme, though, is it is signed by David. Bowie, 74, Three Kisses, and uh, yeah, it's rather lo lovely. Now, what happened was, uh, this is the first print run of the programme, and subsequent print runs, particularly for the Soul Tour, replaced the word Alive with the word Bowie. So a first print run has Alive, and subsequent print runs Bowie. So there you go, hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'll be back with more shortly. Okay, carrying on with my Diamond Dogs obsession. This is uh, the American single 1984 from the Diamond Dogs album, the new single by Bowie. And this is the promotional postcard for that single, which obviously didn't do very well, it didn't chart very high at all. And this one is RCA Records and Tapes and signed again, Bowie 74 from his certified gold album at Diamond Dogs and uh, it is the promo postcard and very rare indeed and particularly rare to have it signed and I'll just turn it over so you can see it is actually a proper postcard I could actually use it I suppose if I wanted to anyway there we are quite a fair piece that so this is a Japanese pinups album, or at least the back cover anyway. And um, I love that image, don't you? Fantastic. So it's an original 1973 album, Japanese release, and it's the rear cover. And as you can see, a huge David Bowie signature, which is really lovely. And that cover is in really good condition. It's rather lovely. I mean, the whole pinups um, album cover, front and back, is amazing, isn't it? So there you are. That's another piece from my collection. 